Hi everybody and welcome back to today's live feed. <laughs> if you got a notification saying, hey Alex is going live and then it cut off, that's because uh, for some reason I was having a bad connection. Hopefully this one works a little bit better. I am at the auction house and I am surrounded by things. If you wondered where all this stuff goes that I've been buying and well and, and soon to be selling, all the stuff I've been buying over the last little while, we have a lot of it piled up here. Um, we have moved to more of an online auction selling format just to kind of make life easier for us. We don't have to worry about shipping and the day-to-day -day operation of the store. And so we have the auction house completely packed full of things. Oh, lots and lots of stuff. Actually, so much stuff here. Um, a lot of it is remnants, extra product from our store, from our location. We did the first sale that got that got rid of some of it. We actually had a two day sale to get rid of um, a lot of the antiques. We have a lot of collectibles, a lot more antiques and uh, a lot of fun stuff that was around the store. So I thought today I'd do a live feed to uh, share with you some of the cool things that are going for auction. And that's this weekend. If you're watching this live right now and hello to everybody who's joining the live feed right now, the auction is going to be June 11th and I will be going live at the auction website so you have to sign up at castner auctions to uh, watch me but i'll be doing a live stream commentary of the auction for the whole day it's gonna be a long one uh, because there's 1300 lots going through this weekend that's a lot of stuff um but i wanted to uh sort of do a walkthrough with you show you some of the cool stuff that's that's going through the sale and um yeah i guess just sort of do an update so here we go and flip this around we had so much stuff that wasn't antiques at the store. It's like we had two shops. One was a gift shop uh, and the other was an antique shop. And now we have uh, all sorts of things that are going through from puppets. I have tormented my children for years with puppets. <laughs> Hello. So we have, uh, don't worry, this isn't going to turn into the... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to turn into a random puppet show, or is it? Um, we have Muppet puppets. Uh, we have, uh, th these were kind of a cool set. It's like a, uh, it's a coffee mug and a cat dish. So you get the matching set. So if you really like your, your cat or your dog, crazy cat lady cup with the crazy lady's cat dish. We have the same thing for the, uh, the dogs too. I'm a people dog. And then it says I'm a dog person. Um, lots of fun accessories. Oh, wonderfully made, um, hats, of course, Cessna, um, officially licensed product. That's from a company called Red Canoe. Uh, there's gardening stuff, gig bags for guitars, um, all sorts of fun. Oh yeah. There's, you know, those coffee mugs that you'd see occasionally in the, in the background of my shop, they're all here. So we've got hot mess. Uh, anyway, some of them are a little sassy. Life experience mug from somewhere fun that I've never visited. Uh, the kick today in the nuts mug <laughs> is, uh, was one of the best sellers, I think, at the store because it's probably so cute and sassy at the same time. Anyway, um, if you wanted one of those mugs, they're all going up no reserve. So we used to sell them for 15 bucks. I think they're going, you know, um, they're going to be no reserve. Uh, Turtles Technodrome with an original box if you're into turtle stuff. And there's a mix of uh, new and old, so we've got some of the newer items, like the uh, Polar Toothpick Dispenser, along with some antique books. Um, oh, I still have some of my books here that were signed by us. The Potter's House books, the last of them. The the very last, I should say, the very last of them. Uh, I, I don't have a deal with that publishing company anymore, so I think these are going to be out of print right away. Um, so I took the last ones I had and uh, signed them by my name there and those are all going up some ancient daggers tins cameras i had saved these back because the red bellow cameras the red bellow folding cameras are actually quite a bit more rare than the black bellows ones and i thought well maybe i should hold those back well i decided to sell them there's a great lionel um standard scale train station that's a cool piece if you're into train stuff lots of camera gear the barbie jag xjs because Barbie's rolling in style. Heck, she starts off with a Corvette and then she ends up with a, uh, a Jag in the 80s, apparently. That seems to make sense. Kind of a cool thing. We have uh, some of, well, look at this. Planters Salted Peanut Original Store Display. We used to use that at our store for putting candy and stuff in with a peanut dispensing top on it. Kind of a neat store display. 
Lots of these um, new old stock Edison Ambarola reels. We put, um, these are the ones I found in the barn. I feel like I'm gonna cough, and if I do, I apologize. <coughs> Wind up sprint car. I don't know, there's so much stuff going through, like so much stuff. These are uh, ice ice cube molds. There's some that are brains. Uh, what was the other one? There, there's a bunch of them that are in here that were pretty, pretty cute. Oh yeah, I was like this. Ninja bread men. So you can make uh, gingerbread men, but they're ninjas and then decorate them. But that was pretty fun. The uh, robot bottle opener. So if you want to have a fun bottle opener for opening your wine, this one's the row bottle opener. And this company uh, that does a lot of these products, they do them for a short time. So they, they do a run of them, and then they just continue. There's a ton of really cool tin wind-up robots. Sugar skull sugar dispenser. You guys see that? We had a lot of fun sort of products in the store. I think if I if I did a store again, I, I might be inclined to do sort of a gift shoppy type store and maybe have a, I don't know. I can't be thinking about another store when I'm trying to simplify my life. Once you have the retail bug, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to uh, get it out of your system. A lot of these artisan uh, puzzles too that were, you know, um, artwork that was done by uh, a local and North American artists and then turned into uh, puzzles. A lot of that stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, in some cases I had like my whole variety. I had, I used to sell these little pins separately for like five bucks a piece or whatever. I have a whole jar of them. I just decided to put the whole jar through. So you get a, a, a potentially a whole giant jar full of pins. There's a Buzz Lightyear still never taken out of the package. It's an original Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 2. Pretty cool collectible piece. Let's walk around. Um, this is a lot of the, like the novelty stuff. I've got a lot of these gooseneck lamps that I used to use in the shop, all around the shop and little miniature arcade games. Is that pole position? Let's see. So we've got pole position going on and Frogger. These are fun. I, I found these at the uh, New York toy fair when I went there and, uh, there was a company that was selling these things and I thought, wow, those are really, really neat. They're just like the real deal, except miniature. So lots of fun stuff. Again, tin robots, um, German woven uh, carpets. And like everywhere I look, there's more and more and more stuff. From the 50s and 60s Barbies. Surprisingly, that Calgary Stampede or Bobblehead is doing quite well at the sale. That's, I think, the most expensive thing. At a sale, you just never know. I don't think anybody's bid on all these 1940s uh, magic tricks in the boxes. I got those. I did a little episode about uh, about this stuff, and I think you can have the whole box for 10 or 15 bucks right now if a person goes to place a bid. All sorts of jello coins and wheels. And, of course, tins, 1800s uh, child's. This is sort of neat. It's a uh, wooden block set, so it's a puzzle set. You have your little boards to show you what the picture looks like. And then uh, each side has a different puzzle on it. And so, um, yeah, you could build a, a number of different puzzles off of that. That was your entertainment. Before you had iPads, you had puzzle blocks. I remember being bored out of my mind at my grandparents' place and not having much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, the 1930s Mickey Mouse Child's Health Shoe Box. That's kind of a neat set. That I had one of these before and everybody wanted this thing. Uh, when I got it, it was full of pens. And I'm like, well, you know what? That box is really rare all on its own. How many people kept their original 30s Mickey Mouse shoe box? You know, that would have been a, a very, very early um, crossover piece there. There's the uh, missile rocket, uh, Nikkei. Kind of a cool thing. There's uh, lots of com there's a number of comic books going through, including some very old Archies. Um, there's some uh, X Men I think in here that are going way back. 1940s Disney comics. There's just a pile of uh, if you like comic books, there's probably going to be something neat in there for you, um, like all the old Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. Old uh, uh, Hickok Cufflink store display box. ColecoVision. Oh, I forgot there's uh, CFL sets of cards too. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's that Thunder Burp gun with the original box that I picked up not that long ago. The Trying Train set. Um, this really cool 
uh, German made clockwork tin uh, sat complete in like mint condition. The uh, Mustang Cox airplane with original packaging. And lots of brand new t-shirts and hats. If you ever wanted a gift that came from the shop, we have lots of those things. Um, antique books. I don't know. I'm just sort of walking around. Oh, what did I do with these? These are all socks. Brand new. I put, I put them by the bag load. <laughs> so if you wanted, like, some gifting stuff, there you go. Here comes Cool Dad. And these are all, of course, brand new because that would be really weird to sell used socks. <laughs> Unless they were, like, I don't know, game worn at some hockey game. Or, I don't know. And I'm trying to justify when you would sell used socks. Don't worry. This is all new. The t-shirts, the socks, all that is brand new and no reserve. Oh, there's the uh, Mark's Cannon truck with the original packaging. Line Mar Marks. And uh, there's a lot of jewelry too. I don't know where they put that. I'm gonna have to wander around. Some more robots. There's robot B9 from Lost in Space. And we've even got like some bread and butter pickles. Some of the um, general store type merchandise we used to sell there. Lovely soapstone bear carved by our friend Anthony Antoine. Just a friendly little guy. He looks like he wants his, oh, who's a cute little bear? Who's a cute little bear? Um, also, uh, we were selling uh, this line of really neat German um, uh, pottery or ceramics. And we had a lot of these cute little teapots left over, which aren't they just the loveliest little thing? So nice line of uh, uh, German teapots and accessories. I'm gonna wander over this way. Funny, we moved a cupboard. Oh, it looks like they put one of the Picassos back through. That was uh, Don Quixote. Wild Bill Elliott, original movie poster from back in the day, 1940s or early 50s probably. Probably 40s considering it's filmed in glorious sepia tone. <laughs> I'm, you know, prior to color. So original movie posters. I'm walking around. Oh yeah, big boxes of comic books where I just threw the whole thing out. So there's boxes of comic books, radios. There's a Catalan uh, type radio sitting right there. That's a good one. So much stuff. Oh, I forgot to say, my son Steven, his only means of income, and I'm plugging this for my kid because that's what you do when you have a kid. His only means of income is actually selling his artwork. Uh, and so we put some of his artwork through here. So we have an original drawing of his, uh, his duck. Uh, we've got uh, his lion. So these are all done by my son, Steven. And these are originals. These aren't prints or anything like that. Uh, he doesn't do uh, figural pieces very often, but he's, he's done a couple. So uh, check it out. There's lots of um, our son's work too. And, and you know, uh, he's an aspiring young artist and wants to do that professionally at some point in his life. So. You know, we're happy to, to put his stuff out there for him. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, uh, Muhammad Ali fight poster, an original one. From 1971, Madison Square Gardens. More comics. And what do we have in the comic category? Tarzan, number one, Batman, Adventure Girl, A-Team first edition. It's a little bit wrinkled, though, but Black Panther, number three, A-Team, number two. Miracle Man number one. I feel like there was some real old ones in here somewhere too. Like I had uh, some really early X-Men and stuff that we were going to put through. Rom Knight number one. Star Wars number 39. Anyway, lots of neat stuff. 1970s or early 80s Lego spaceship with the original box. With the original hair on that kid. <laughs> I remember having hair like that. Oh, look, Steven put one of his sculptures up here, too. He did this. It's uh, half uh, person and half skeleton. He wanted to do sort of like a, um, uh, a deconstructed sculpture, so Steven did that one, too. There's also um, some turntables, some nice old turntables. Just so much stuff. Oh, here we go. Pocket knives like crazy. Lots of pocket knives. Oh, fancy pens. If you saw the episode where I went through a lot of pens and got some watches, everybody liked this floral cross pen. It's, uh, I think, 24, yeah, 23 karat gold plated, limited edition, and a really, really nice pen. There, there's a lot of fancy. If you're into nice pens, this might be the sale for you. Uh, also, a lot of coin sets, too. So, Royal Canadian Mint coin sets. There's uh, silver, 
uh, we got one of those um, original 1960s chess sets too, like the uh, Brutalist sort of welded chess set. Um, you know, just tons and tons and tons of stuff. So this is going to be a good sale. I, I couldn't tell you. I imagine they have the jewelry probably locked up right now, so I'm not able to show you. But look look at the breadth of stuff just in this space. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm doing circus music. It just seems right. There's so much stuff going through this sale that it feels like, you know, honestly, if I spread this stuff out at my store, I'd, my, I'd have my store full again. This is enough inventory to probably fill my old store back up. Uh, so all of this will end up going, um, I guess I can talk to you now. How about that? Oh, hi guys. <laughs> all of this stuff will end up going this weekend. So that's June 11th. Um, there are gold rings. Uh, there is some high-end jewelry that I was holding back that uh, is appraised for thousands of dollars, just bid to a couple hundred bucks right now. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that is potentially a very good deal for somebody. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this too. I guess that, that didn't, they didn't pick it up at the last sale. It's a spittoon off of an old railway line, Central Pacific Railway, and it says, uh, do not empty the spittoon out of train window. No kidding, could you imagine? Somebody just walks out and chucks this out the window and you get spray back all over your... You're like napping with your mouth open and it flies back in the wind inside of your face. I'm sure something like that must have happened for them to have a, a notice like that. Um, so check out the sale this Saturday. I'm going to be on Kastner's website. So if you log in to Kastner and you um, want to follow, I'm going to be doing live commentary like I did last time for those of you that joined us. Uh, you can watch, follow along and maybe even play some bids. Um, I'm also gearing up for a little bit of a smaller sale, but a, a good sale in, uh, July. And I've started bringing that stuff down here, which is what all this is. But, uh, some things it was just time to let go. Uh, my dad had this in his collection. It's a Elvis's second album signed by the whole band. Um, so you've got, uh, Bill Black and Scotty, uh, oh, what's Scotty's last name? Guitar, drums, anyway, Don Fontaine. Anyway, it's got several signatures on the back and some uh, on the other side as well. No, no Elvis, though. Elvis had probably left the building at the time. But there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff going through that sale, too. But, guys, uh, just because I've shut the store down doesn't mean I'm not still buying and not still selling. You've got an opportunity to bid and win and get some cool stuff. So check it out. Check the auction out. It's happening this Saturday. You can go online at kauctions.ca. Um, you can look for the curiosity sale. I think it's still pegged as a final curiosity sale, but it's a curiosity sale nonetheless. And, um, you'll be able to see a lot of this great stuff that's there. So, um, check it out guys. We'll see you all soon. And if you want to watch the live stream with me, you have to log into Caster Auctions website, kauctions.ca. That's this Saturday, starting at around 10 AM mountain time. You have to figure out wherever you are, plus or minus what hours it is. Um, and we'll be doing live commentary, talking about the items and just having a good time. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching and uh, check out the auction. Bye for now, guys.